Of course. Hey guys, and welcome back to part two. You're all such good looking, handsome creatures. Except for you, David. We both know you could do better. Any snooch. For those of you who haven't seen part one, go ahead and click here. I'll put it here. Let's get started. So they sell little brick molds and stuff like that, and they sell like siding that looks like bricks. I could use that, but I'm trying just 150 bucks, so using what I have, which is a bunch of scrap wood. I'm realizing I sniff a lot when I'm on the camera. Maybe I did a person. some wood stain. I've used this before to try and match some cherry project and this comes out bright red. So I'm hoping this will kind of give this more brick like feel and I really don't care if it's splotchy and I don't care if it comes out looking bad. It must be bricks. Bricks don't look perfect so hopefully this will work. We'll find out. So now for the mortar. I sniff a lot. Oh my gosh. I, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> I never knew I did this before I started filming myself. But now for the mortar, I had a couple ideas. One was paint. That would be using actual mortar, but that would be a hassle. But I have a lot of caulking. And that's why I put the chamfers in there. So I can actually just follow the chamfers and then spread out. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll come out looking somewhat good. We'll find out. <laughs> Nice. realized I could do this one with an electric saw. I already made this for our hand tools. There's something weirdly satisfying about just using hand tools. This works first try. My first time ever doing that. that was, oh, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, 
I decided to copy what a lot of, a lot, I've seen two of these on YouTube, but both of them have ladders, and it adds like another interesting layer, so I decided to do what all great people do and rip off someone else I've seen. So I decided I'm going to spray all three of these with some spray paint. I still have a little left from my legs, and all I think, I think that might help tie things together for this to be the same color as legs. I did not do a good job cutting up here, did I? Oh, F me. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? After all that freaking work. Oh, I'm gonna be so peeved. Okay, 18 by 33, essentially. Yep. Freaking kidding me. Ah, come on. After hours of cleaning this thing, hours, uh, and using chemicals and getting headaches from the fumes, that happens. Literally, this was the last step. This was the literal last step. And it breaks. You can even see the score line. It breaks. Yeah, look, it, it cracks. I put it down and it cracked right along the cut line. That was the last step. All I had to do was put the mirror finish on this and put it into place. I guess I was going to fine tune the cut, but I do not want to go through that again. That sucked. All right, well, I'm going to be like every other kid with rich parents. My thing broke, so I'm going to buy one. I, I could seriously punch something right now. That freaking sucks. Can I make that an accent? That sucks. Uh, I decided against buying another piece of glass to fill this in. This was supposed to be a $50 build, and buying another piece of glass will break that. So I'm going to figure something to do here. <sighs> Holy crap, this is annoying. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. And it just peels a corner off. Dude, this sucks. Peel off. Let's try the end. Get back on top of itself. Oh my gosh, this stuff sucks. Just peel, stop bending everything. Oh my gosh, what the crap? And of course it lifts up and I'm about to punch something in the face. This is frustrating as hell. Stop being stupid and peel. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's try this inside. I'm, I'm gonna punch something here. This is a nightmare. I don't know how to get it. <laughs> I got it in and it just bubbled. 
It just bubbled! And then you figure out how to prevent that from happening. I used tape. That didn't do squat. Alright, well thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it or got a modicum of some entertainment from it. Maybe even learned a little something or two on not what to do, like either. If you did enjoy it, please give a subscribe or a like. That'll let me know that there's value to what's actually being done and what's being put out there. And it'll let me kind of navigate on the correct ways to do this. I'm uh, experimenting with a couple different ways of submitting videos. And uh, your guys' feedback is greatly appreciated. It'll really help me out, so thank you. Oh, by the way, there's, there's nothing in here. I just I just need something to do with my hands.